Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your mid-September. So this is going to cover uh, love and wealth. And thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my darlings, I have a brand new channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries. So what I do on that channel is I basically look at unsolved uh, true story mysteries and then I break that down and find out what really happened using Tarot. So guys, if you're interested in checking out my new channel, all the information is in the description box below. I also have a link in the community tab. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, let's jump right in here. So we're going to look at love and then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to have my Capricorns romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's Career and Finance. Now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so, oh wow. So there's a connection here. We see, obviously, you have two connections here, two choices coming in here. And this is going to be happening soon because we're talking about mid-September, but I always go by this is the sooner, then the later, and then the later, okay, latest. So there's going to be a choice you're going to have to make, Capricorn. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, wow, and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Both of them are coming in as kings. Oh, my goodness. There are some good choices here, Capricorn. <laughs> Okay, so one is going to be uh, very, very good with their words. They know exactly what to say, do. Okay, they're like a politician there. The King of Pentacles one, they're going to be very stable and very family oriented, very balanced, very grounded kind of energy. So you have a choice to be made here, okay, between, looks like two individuals. Now they could be coming off as one, but I feel like you guys definitely have a choice between two individuals, and they're kind of like day and night too. That's what I also feel like here. I feel like, yeah, this, uh, I feel like you're more partial to the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy one, because they just know what to say. They just know all the right things to say. But also, I feel like the, the Taurus or Go Capricorn one, you're kind of like, I could see myself with this person on the long term, you know? Um, so let's see more information here, Capricorn. So what's gonna have my Capricorns, Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Capricorns, Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns, Career. Wow, look, something you've been waiting for. Nine cards for my Capricorns, Romantic Love Life. Nine cards for my Capricorns, Career and Finance. Now until the end of September. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Oh yeah, it's very hopeful. Wow, there definitely could be a change, a life change, a big, huge life change for you guys because we see there's a hopeful energy towards marriage here or a long-term commitment and big changes happening for you guys. And it's definitely the rest of the month, I'm telling you guys. There's a lot of big changes because I see it with a lot of the signs, okay? Um, so, and at the bottom of the deck we see there's this contemplation going on within your emotions back and forth about this confusion of what's gonna make you happy, sun card energy. So there's a lot of overanalyzing here about what to do and wh what to take a risk on or who to take a risk on here. Um, yes, towards your happiness, 10 of cups energy. So what's gonna have my Capricorn's romantic love life for now until the end of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, see that? The King of Pentacles is like family, family oriented, new love. Mm hmm and an opportunity what did I say okay well, let's keep going here Capricorn okay so we see this person really wants to be a part of your family really wants to be a part of your situation and is trying to stick around here so and you have two king interviews so both of them are trying to stick around you got new love coming in here you're gonna have to make a decision there's an opportunity and we see there's a situation when somebody particularly wants, the, both of them seem like they want something long-term. More or less though, the King of Pentacles won. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, wow. You guys also have another opportunity coming in. Ace of Wands, somebody who's gonna spark your passions there. 
and you also may be a little bit spiritually, maybe a little bit, you are going to have the sense that there's some kind of spiritual connection here with the temperance card energy, cause it's gonna hit you all once. Oh my goodness, then you're gonna have to make a decision here. Capricorn, oh my goodness, You usually I see these in Leo readings, but this time I feel like you guys got um, a lot of people wanting you this, this, uh, this month. Okay, so there's concerns about some kind of falseness and you're trying to get some kind of advice or you don't know how to be honest, so you're trying to, uh, about what to do about this potential passionate situation or this has is gonna come up all of a sudden, it's gonna hit you all of a sudden. And it looks like, yes, there's so many people that want your attention that you're gonna have to make a decision about. Okay, you're at a crossroads here. Oh. You're concerned, you're like, I don't wanna have regrets about what to do here and I really need to focus on what's gonna make me happy. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's, there's definitely someone who is trying to cultivate your attention. That's what I feel like. Oh, look at this, this person's like trying to play music for you, trying to be romantic there, playing the guitar and everything. And then we see that there's a lot of people that are focused in on you. Uh-huh, trying to be like, hey Capricorn, pick me, pick me. Okay, I want your attention Capricorn. You've got a lot going on so far and we're not even all the way through the reading yet, okay. So going further on this, so it seems to me like so far, we see there's a situation where you have a choice to make between a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. And it does look like uh, both situations potentially could be an opportunity that could go all the way because a uh, long-term because of the fact they're both kings. Kings are stable energy. They're not going anywhere. They have the life experience. They know what to do. They're kind of like, all right, I've been through that crap. You know, I'm not, I'm not a uh, page anymore. I'm not immature. You know, I'm not like a teenage energy, like a knight. Um, I'm not going to keep going, making, taking actions abruptly. I'm not a queen. I'm not going to contemplate. I know what I want to do. So you got two individuals that know that what they want to do and they know they want you. Okay. So, and then you got this new spark that's going to be coming in, which is a potential passionate one. <laughs> and so now you're gonna be in this sense of confusion and a crossroads, what do I do? Okay, so where do we stand here at the end of the month here? <laughs> Seven of Swords. You're kind of like, I don't know. Uh, you're kind of getting tied up in your thoughts here. Um, hmm. The hangman's showing me you're having this stuck energy. And uh, you're concerned about some kind of regrets or loss here, Five of Cups energy. Okay, so let's keep going here, Capricorn. Yeah, look at that. By the end of the month, you've got to make a decision. So it's coming to decision time now. And you're trying to be brave to do it because this is the, the chakra of willpower and worry, concern. So you're trying to be empowered to make this decision, but you're stuck and stagnant. You're like, what sacrifice do I need to make? And you're kind of trying to be very strategic with Seven of Swords energy, but you're concerned about some kind of loss or being left, leaving someone out in the cold. So there's an, a lot of distance so you're trying to distance yourself from the situation to give yourself some time alone here <laughs> things are going in your favor though Capricorn and you're kind of trying to isolate yourself in the situation so you can make the best decision your reading is very clear-cut though it's very clear-cut like literally clear-cut of like what's going on here it looks to me like literally by the end of the month it looks like you're gonna have three people to choose from somebody that recent is gonna just gonna come in two people that are pretty stable that may have already been here, but by the end of the month, you're kind of like, I need to distance myself, I need to figure this out because I don't know what the best decision is for me. And that's where you're at, you're at the decision phase. So let me help you out. Okay, can I have some advice for my Capricorns for the highest best good and for the best possible outcome for them on what they should do about their situation for the month of, for the September from this time till the end of September? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so your advice, if you choose to accept the advice. Now, it says you can preserve a situation and not feel guilty about it and really focus on the change in a friendship. Don't let pride get in the way because obviously a lot of people want your attention, and heal the situation. We see, don't judge it, but delay the situation until you are sure that you can trust. And don't feel like there's gonna be blame here. 
and jealousy, but you really just need to do what's gonna make you happy. So really take the time, delay the situation, let people know what the situation is once you're ready to figure out what is truly gonna make you happy, and then accept it and grow. Give yourself some time alone. There's nothing to regret here. Look at the humor in this situation. <laughs> okay, Spirit. <laughs> Look at the humor in this situation. Okay. Okay, Capricorns, you don't want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I feel like your reading definitely is speaking to me like you are not going to be single anymore. Okay? <laughs> definitely not going to be single anymore. All right. So, so you've got a lot to choose from here. Three potentials. Even if I look at the bottom of the card, there's a commitment and a sense of deception or keeping something hidden till things come into balance of who I should make an effort towards confusions and cautiousness about this letter message or document when it comes to feelings and people. Yes, your reading is very clear cut. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. And then you can see right here. One, two, possibly three. This one's interesting too. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, and we have a choice that's going to have made patience for things to come to balance, regrets. We have this King of Pentacles, some patient energy, trying to be strategic. We see this spark and this decision. Okay. Also, let's just get some more information for you, Capricorn. What is Capricorn's love interest? The one that's on your mind, Capricorn. What's going on with that situation with Capricorn? The one that's on Capricorn's mind now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's concerns about some kind of sabotaging or working on it and a breakup and a separation. This person keeps looking at your photographs and pictures and is very cautious and defensive here. They really want abundance with you. They feel very passionate about you, Capricorn, and they're reflecting on this. Uh, they want some stability and stableness here in a relationship. They're concerned about some kind of infringing connection or karmic relationship and being stabbed in the back. Okay. This person wants you to take a risk on them towards love, and it looks like they'll protect your heart. Okay, so let's take a look at your career in finance now, Capricorn. All right, so career in finance, you've got the chariot, victory. You're getting your confidence here. And, wow, you, your romantic love life, this is a very lucky read. This, I'm telling you, man, Wheel of Fortune is the thing, luck here. So you have a victory here, okay? And I feel like you guys really know what you want and you're, you're going forward with it because that's willpower and drive. Also, some of you could be going long distance because that's a travel card also. And it looks like you are really, really in charge and you know what you want and you're gaining confidence because of this because this is the right time. So there's some good advice here and you're thinking about it. And we see you're concerned about some kind of naivete or a person or um, maybe you're doing some self-indulgence as well with that particular card. Okay, so let's get some advice for you guys for this, for this Korean finance. What does Capricorn need to know for the Korean finance that they don't know that they need to know that could help them? For now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Capricorn, let's check this out. So have faith in your dreams, Capricorn. Okay, so you may have to fight for what you want here. Okay, or don't get caught up in that. So, because we see the strong will and you have strength, courage, and confidence and things are going in your favor. There's something to do with a person and another person and a lot of planning, thinking, contemplating. Okay, so let's go down another layer here. Okay, so you're dealing with some burdens or responsibilities, which is causing you some worry and concern. So you're gonna take an action towards your passions, your creativity. It looks like there's a stable situation or a house or a family and some kind of legal situation or some kind of dispute that's causing you some worry or concern. Okay, let's get some advice around this. Okay, so it's gonna seem a little bit uh, clouded at first, but you're going to reach some kind of conclusion around your situation. 
remember that nothing is set in stone. So what's that say to me? It's saying, yes, there's going to be some issues here, but it will pass. Okay, so we got, by the end of the month, we see the Three of Swords, which talks to me about mental heartache. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is a good card. And we got the Six of Wands. Oh, my goodness. If you guys are a Sun, Moon, Rising sign Leo, you may want to check that reading out, too. As I tell you guys, Crosswatch, this is the same exact, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact position that Leo had. Okay, so heartache, but then we see money and finance and a victory. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Yes, the momentum will gain in your favor. You'll be able to hold on what you want. And you also, some of you guys are going to get fame, recognition. Uh, people are going to recognize you, notice you for what you've done. And, and something to do with finances, lots of finance, lots of money here. So we see there's concerns about some kind of sad news, but there is some kind of change that's going to happen because of this meeting of this small group of people. Okay, this could be an interview or a meeting. Okay, so we see that there is this individual, could be like a king of pentacles energy, getting some kind of good advice, making the wise decision when it comes to house, home, real estate, or stability and stables, or home. And something sad about this because some of you guys are gonna have to travel. We see that there's thoughts and plannings and some kind of legal aspects or some disputes about this move, about this travel, about this change. We see a person card again coming out that's gonna cause some kind of worry and concern, but it does look like you will have a situation where this meeting will take place. This small meeting, this group of people are gonna to come together, and through this, you're gonna get a victory. So I'm gonna go down the layer here, Capricorn, just to give you guys clarity on this, okay? Victory, okay? You're overwhelmed with responsibilities, which causes a little bit of heartache here, okay? Or mental heartache. We see that you find the strength, courage, or confidence, or, you know, but you're still worried here about money and finance. But things align in your favor, and timing is right, luck is on your side, and you're able to take an action here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Take an action towards your creativity and passions, okay? And that brings you a victory. And we go down another layer here. Emperor. Some of you are taking on more responsibilities with the Emperor card energy. Some of you are impressing your boss with the Emperor card energy being there. And you're getting good news because of it. And we got the Empress too, which talks about there's huge potential growth here. Oh my goodness. And then we got the Six of Cups. You're gonna be able to look at some things that you were looking at before uh, from the past. You're gonna be able to relook at those things again. And, or also some of you guys are reminiscing about the past and you're a little bit cautious and defensive, but you are gonna be able to save money, hold on to money, or, and also hold on to your vision, as it says here, for Pentacles energy towards stability and stabilis, because you have the higher ground to win this situation here with the Seven of Wands. So don't worry, okay, don't worry. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.